Welcome to Credit Matters TV. I am Michael Seewald. As part of our ASEAN Top Company series, I'm here today with Xavier Jean to discuss expansions of conglomerates in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Hello, Xavier. Hi, Michael. So, Xavier, why do a study on conglomerates in ASEAN? Within the 100 companies that we reviewed as part of our study in ASEAN, about a third of those were either conglomerates or subsidiaries of conglomerates. And we have also observed that uh, growth is uh, very rapid at either the parent company, the conglomerate, or their subsidiary. So we were interested in understanding better about the sector and the key credit trends of the sector. Mm. And so you say that conglomerates or their subsidiaries have been expanding rapidly. Can you tell us more? Sure. So over the past five years, uh, conglomerates and their subsidiaries uh, contributed about 20% of the total capital spending of the 100 companies that we've reviewed in ASEAN. But this number increases to about 60% when we consider the acquisitions. Uh, and we've observed that in 2012 and 2013 in particular, uh, more than half of the total acquisitions were made either by conglomerates or by, the, or by their listed subsidiaries. Mm -hmm. Um, why does the high growth appetite of conglomerates matter from a credit standpoint? There are several reasons. The first one is that growth is generally debt funded, both for conglomerates and for their listed subsidiaries. To give you an example, uh, in 2008, the median debt to EBITDA of the 16 subsidiaries of conglomerates that we have reviewed in our study was about 1.8 times. That ratio increased to close to four times that we be da as of year-end 2013. So quite a significant change as far as this is concerned. The other important uh, finding is that sometimes there is a disconnect in the credit quality of the subsidiaries of a conglomerate mm -hmm. and, the, and the credit quality of the conglomerate itself. And in our study, we found that seven companies had significantly stronger financial risk profiles versus their conglomerate. Uh, parent. As a result, understanding the true scope of leverage for the conglomerate as a whole without looking independently at the subsidiary is something that we believe is critical. The third point that, that uh, is coming from our study is that conglomerates are increasing in complexity, they are becoming more difficult to assess, there are considerations of minority interest and potential cash leakage when we look at them on a consolidated basis. And sometimes that is raised at unlisted companies, which may not provide the truer picture of credit worthiness for the group as a whole. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you. This article and all other articles on our newly released ASEAN Top Companies series are available on our platform Global Credit Portal. Thank you for watching Credit Matters TV and see you next time.